Daemon Targaryen chooses eldest son of the hand of the king. So you see Alicent and she's kind of nibbling on the edges of her nails. In Alicent's case, what she's dealing with is called dermatilla mania. And it's just this way of nibbling at your body. In the DSM-5, it's linked into those body-focused repetitive behaviors. It's when you end up dealing with your stress or worry through picking at or nibbling at parts of your body. Some people think that it's only for nervousness, but also it's for a way of us soothing ourselves, that we kind of chew or pick pick or play with things or fidget, which can be completely normal and healthy way of dealing with minor amounts of stress. But there is a point where you may want to get it taken care of. That would be when it becomes something that you really can't stop, or as in Allison's case, where you're causing yourself damage. I think it's really cute that Rhaenyra kind of like taps very sweetly Allison's hand to kind of stop her. It's non-judgmental and Allison takes it really nicely. It's a hard thing because often this happens unconsciously. You're just doing it. You have an exam and suddenly you've bitten off five nails and you didn't even know that you had bitten them off until after because it's that unconscious way of soothing ourselves or ways of dealing with anxiety or cycling thoughts. <laughs> You can see in Allison's case though that she's doing it all the way to the point where she's actually bleeding. When you have it and you can't really stop and you're doing damage to yourself, that's really one of those signs that maybe that this is something that you should get treated. When do you know when you should get it taken care of? Well, you should first try to stop on your own. In Allison's case, you could stick something that's bitter on your fingers just so that you know when you shove your fingers into your mouth. It can be really annoying to have someone constantly letting you know and by that usually it's way too late. You can actually buy something called bite off, but you can also use something that's like lemon, or you can end up wearing gloves through the day, or even putting something like tape over your fingers, or even glue, something that you would pick on that is not your skin. What we're trying to do is move the behavior further and further away from actually damaging you. You're the most comely girl at court. Why do you destroy yourself? This is exceptionally common, and for most people they just do it every once in a while, but if ever it's happened during a period of stress that you're kind of nibbling and someone has mentioned the wounds on your fingers, it's really embarrassing. Often people feel ashamed, and that stops people from being able to get help. For Alison, she's in such a very stressful position where she's trying her best to make her father happy, even if it goes against her wishes. And because of that, and because of all of the stress that's around her, she's carrying it, and this is her soothing technique. So what we would want is to have her find other ways to be able to deal with her stress, other coping mechanisms. Perhaps it would be to have a pet, because pets can make you feel really calm and relaxed. It might be to be able to exercise more, work on different restructuring, focus her mind on other things, make sure she's getting enough sleep, eating well, and also, she could find a different way or something else to pick at that wasn't as damaging as she kind of moves her way from picking at her fingers. Lord Corlys Bellarion has offered the hand of his daughter. A very strong match, Your Grace. And in Allison's case, it also can happen when you're in deep thought. A lot of people will fidget, and it's a way of kind of burning off energy when your brain is moving really quickly. And this affects about 10% of the population. You can see where Allison gets this bad news. She goes to her basic coping mechanism of kind of picking. And what this lets us know about her character is that she's under a vast amount of pressure, that she's not really coping with really well. She's doing her best also to not let this pressure show outwardly. And so that's why she deals with it just in one part of her body, because everything else has to always be poised because she's being looked at by everyone. And when you're under the watchful eye of 
everyone that's around you, that stress also can have you find other ways of being able to cope with it because you can't just let it out and vent or complain to just anyone because it'll end up being used against you. Dermatillomania. This is a little bit of Allison's dermatillomania. Yes, that took me a whole bunch of time to say. Let me know what are your favorite Allison scenes and what do you think would be better ways for her to manage anxiety. Whether you are a commoner or royalty, anxiety is something that we all have to deal with. If you want to learn in-depth ways on how to manage it, check out my brand new Nebula class on beating anxiety. It covers what anxiety is and straightforward tools and techniques on how to cope with it so that you can start living a better life today. There are also brand new Nebula classes from Thomas Frank on Business 101, Legal Eagle on How to Sue Like a Lawyer, Sam from Wendover on Persuasive Communication, as well as classes on music, writing, animation, travel, and much more, with new classes going live every single week. They're all masterfully produced and available for just $10 a month or $100 a year, and that includes thousands of ad-free, sponsor-free videos that are already on Nebula, and all the new videos coming out every day, including me, <laughs> and all your other favorite education creators, including originals, exclusives, extended, and bonus videos, only available on Nebula, like my two-hour Jinx Saga from Arcane. And for all of you who have already signed up for Nebula, including through CuriosityStream, it's just $5 a month or $50 a year to upgrade for classes. And right now, if you visit nebula.app slash georgiadow, you can sign up for the annual plan for only $80 a year. So just hit the button on the screen or the link in the description to sign up and start watching today. Okay, and if you like this video and found it helpful or found it soothing, please hit subscribe or better yet, if you could share my video with others or on social media, that does help people find out about my channel because it's kind of new and starting out and hopefully they like the videos enough to stay.